I gotta come watch this. John just hooked into a uh, giant old snapping turtle. How's it going, folks? It is 8.04 a.m. I am in Dallas, headed to the MTB crib. I had a 6 a.m. flight out of Nebraska. As you guys know, last week I was in Mexico, came back home, spent a few days home, and now I am back with the Guggins, except I think Rob and Perrick are in Louisiana, but John B is picking me up here shortly. I think him and I are gonna try to film a video together today uh, before uh, we head off to a secret trip. I'm not gonna say where we're going, but the entire squad, including camera boy Wes, we are headed on a epic, epic adventure this week. But for now, we have one day to uh, catch some Texas fish. So hopefully you guys enjoy. Crank it, homie. Yo, yo, yo. What's up, we? What's good, man. All right, let's go. Yeah, I didn't uh, didn't recognize the new whip, no, so I didn't, right. I didn't like come running after you, and I was like, oh wait, that was definitely him. No more dust trails. No more dust trails. There yeah, you go. I'm riding clean today. Well, JB picked me up here. Do you know what the plan is? No plan. Well, the first plan is I have to get my camera back because I left it in a Uber last night. So that's what I'm filming off that little thing right now. And, you left uh, your camera bag left, in an Uber. No, not even the camera bag, just my camera. In oh, okay. So the A7S with the lens and the mic. So where's it at? In some guy's Uber. So he's going to drive it to my house, <laughs> or to our house, the MTD crib. Oh and, my God. Yeah. You're lucky he was like, but what's crazy? not a crazy person what's, and just like denied it and stole it and no, sold it. Yeah, you know? he had like a 4.9 rating. So I was like, I think I landed the right Uber to lose a camera. In. <sighs> the thing is though, is like I got home, like just opened a bunch of packages up fell asleep then woke up next morning it wasn't until i was about to film until i realized i was like you know i don't remember reading my camera in last night so then i was like maybe it's in the uber but i was like there's no way i would do that sure enough i called the guy and he's like yeah i was just sitting back there after you left but i was just like already on a trip and he said i'd just like give it to you tomorrow or whatever i'm like okay whatever oh so I, tipped, I tipped him like 25 bucks he's gonna run it over here oh my gosh so is he, he's bringing it over now uh, in like an pretty, hour. Pretty so. quick, okay. Yeah, I think I woke him up actually. Okay. All right. So we are headed to. <laughs> yeah. All right. Wait a way to start the morning. We are headed to the MTV crib. Not a not a big plan. Do you know? Are we fishing today? Do you know where we're fishing? Oh, uh, we can fish today. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I want to get this camera back first. Yeah, we got to get the camera back, and then we're gonna try to fish. And at some point, we have to try to pick up Rob's boat. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's... Yeah, we got to pick up Rob's boat. So Damn. hopefully, you guys enjoy. Sweet home, folks. Made it, carried luggage all the way up the stairs. Yeah, like I said, I don't know what exactly the plan is here. Oh man, it's gonna be a long day, boys. It is gonna be a long day. I am, uh, I'm on retrieve Rob's boat duty today, taking Perrick's truck number two. Climb up in this beast, cause he broke his, uh, he broke his F-150, so I gotta take his, uh, Take us 250 here. Oh my, oh my gosh, the fuel level is low. Oh, I'm gonna kill Perrick, I'm gonna kill the kid. So like I said, his house is about 45 minutes away. I actually have to fill up Perrick's truck with gas because he left it on completely empty. So after I fill up Perrick's truck, I gotta go to Rob's house and uh, get into his truck, which has his boat keys, take those boat keys to the storage unit where he stores his boat, hitch up the boat on this, and tow it back to the MTB crib because we have a tournament to fish tomorrow out of his boat. It is 9.13 a.m. My guess is this will take me, uh, this will probably take me two to three hours to do this. This is just stupid. Sorry guys, I, I really hoped that I could come here and uh, just start going fishing with John B right away because it's pretty good conditions. Overcast, but uh, you know, we've got a tournament to fish tomorrow, so that's that's priority number one. So we're gonna get this, uh, we're gonna get this knocked out and I'm gonna take you guys along with me. Currently filling up the, uh, the truck it was uh, pretty much bone dry, so we'll fill this bad boy up. We got about 30 more minutes until we get to uh, to Rob's house. And Rob, Rob actually told me, don't, don't go. Uh, this boat is giant. I've actually never seen his boat, his new boat. 
He says it's giant. I don't want you to mess anything up. And I said, Rob, I got this. That's why I've made it back home. Rob's boat has been picked up and I didn't crash it, so that's good, but we do have something, something just a little bit of a surprise for you guys. Right here is a box of favorite rods and more specifically, not that one, or just the one I'm looking for, this one, this one. This is one that you guys have been asking about for such a long time right here. The Flares Frog and Flip a Stick is gonna be back in stock. It's not back in stock on the website, I don't believe, but within like the next couple weeks it should be. They are at Cabela's though, and I will pop up a little screen with all of the locations that you guys can go find them. So I know a lot of you guys have been saying, you know, when's this come back in stock, when's it come back in stock? Uh, we just had to make a few minor adjustments to it, make it look a little bit cooler, and, uh, and yeah, that's pretty much it. So they are available in these 12 Cabela's locations, and they will be available online soon, so I will let you guys know when that happens so you guys can pick them up if you guys want them. But right now, uh, John and I, we are going to go, I believe, creek fishing, he said. We're going to go grab some food first and then creek fishing, which, you know me, I'm not, I like creek fishing, but it's just not something that I do a whole lot, and he does a little bit more than me. So he's going to show me the ropes a little bit on how to, how to catch bass, maybe some panfish. It's just gonna be kind of a chill day. Like I said, just got, got to run some errands. And uh, of course, we gotta catch some fish for you guys to hopefully enjoy. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna get the rods ready, rigged up, and uh, we're gonna go catch a fish. You ready? I'm ready. Let's crank on some toadies. We are, uh, we are loaded up. We're gonna go grab some food real quick, but we're gonna go clear water fishing. And I was, I was thinking about this when the last time John, just John and I were fishing, we think it's like a year ago. We like had literally. a we had like a year ago, like last weekend. Yeah. We had a tournament on Table Rock that we fished together, and that was they hosted that same exact tournament last week. So it's been a long, long time since it's just been him and I. So it'll be good getting back out there and you know mixing it up, clear water creek fishing for some bass, maybe some different. panfish. Right. It'll be different. It's something I know nothing about. So we're gonna basically figure this out together. Hopefully you guys enjoy. All right, here we go. We actually skipped out on the food because we couldn't find any food we wanted, and I have not eaten all day today. Woke up at four, so I will be hangry during this video, but I will feel a little bit better if I can actually catch a few fish. We're gonna see. This looks dope. It's really uh, oh shallow up into the rear, but once it gets, once we get farther down, this is like so crazy. Like, I, I couldn't even imagine there being fish in this. This is what I'm starting with. One of Peric's poppers. Actually, I think this is like a very expensive popper. Uh, maybe it's called a silver chug. It just looks really expensive, so hopefully I don't lose it. Don't want to piss the little little guy off. All right, folks. I am headed back to the creek, all the way in the back. John actually said he lost like a four. He saw a four or five pounder, and then he lost a smaller one. This looks. Yeah, this is so weird. I just I. I'm not used to fishing stuff like this, so I don't even know like what to look for. Like, oh yeah, that looks really good. Like, I don't even know like what well, looks really good. I'm just gonna, I don't know. I'm just gonna throw my Sanko. It's one bait that I know will catch fish. I'll throw my Sanko around the dam here. John said it is deeper, so this may be, this may be the ticket. There's one, there's one. Yep, 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 yep. That's a good fish. That's a good fish, dude. Oh God. Dude, it's a good fish. Oh, oh shoot. Oh gosh, I got a good fish. Oh, it's a big bass. I gotta figure out how to get down there. No, I'm good, I'm good. I think. Yes. Oh my gosh. Holy crap, I cannot believe I just caught that fish. I cannot believe I just caught that fish. Dude, that is 
That is a good size large bro. That's probably pushing three pounds. That is crazy. That is unreal. Like tiny little freaking urban creek. This is crazy. Little weightless sank on a spinning rod. Here we go, folks. That is crazy. That's my first urban creek largemouth in my entire life. Unreal. Say goodbye to Felicia. Bye, Felicia. Oh, yeah. That was awesome. That's good. That is so crazy. Like this, Dude, did not expect that at all. There's a fish. Yep. Yep. That's a good one. There we go. Another Sanko fish. I don't think it's quite as big as that first one, but that's a decent fish. I let him actually eat that one. I thought it was a bluegill for a second. Got another one. Yeah. There we go. Another fish. Little Sanko fish. That's that's the key. I, I, I don't know a whole lot about creek fishing, but what I do know is bass love Sankos. Not a giant by any means, but I will take it. Out of a creek like this, this is a great, great fish. All right, there you go. See you, buddy. Whoop. Back in the creek. What's crazy is these fish have so much food here. Like they're just, there's millions of bluegills, so they, I see why they can actually survive. There's tons of food. There's running water for Christ's sake. I mean, what more do you want? It just puts oxygen in it. This is like a great fish habitat place. I don't know, ask John B. John B, is this a great fish habitat place? Oh, yeah. You like got an, somewhat of an education in that, didn't yeah, you? No, this is chock full of green sunfish with a weak ass swimmers. <laughs> so green sunfish are weak swimmers. And that makes a good meal, huh? Oh, yeah. There's one. There's one. Yep. 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 Dude, they want it so slow, just crawling on the bottom. Another another Sanko fish. It's funny, there's so many bluegills in here. That there's, uh, they, I mean, they, they're basically machine gunning this, uh, the Sanko. For those guys that know what that is, it's like, you know, when they're biting, it feels like somebody's shooting a machine gun. It's just like, do 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 So... Uh, I'm getting that a lot, but this little guy, he did that exact same thing, but he actually ran with it. And usually when they run with it like that, you can you can kind of guess it. It may be a bass, but that's not the size we're after. Just a just a squeaker, a little little Sanko fish. See, buddy. I think John and I, we might uh, we might actually move move spots. I don't know if we're we're gonna go get food or if we're gonna go uh, go to another spot first. But we're gonna we're gonna keep doing a little bit of creek creek hopping. You guys have seen me done, done some pond hopping. I'm doing a little creek hopping today. We've got about an hour and a half, two hours left. And uh, and yeah, we're gonna see if we can catch some more fish. There's a fish. Yup, yup, yup. Another one. That's a decent one. That's better. I think they like the Sanko. <laughs> oh, I don't know if John's, John's, well, John landed a little bit smaller one, but he's, uh, I don't know what he's throwing, but he's not throwing the sink out, that's for sure. Another creek fish. We were actually about to leave, but, uh, I'm still catching them, so I think we might stay for, might stay for another couple minutes here. See you, Timothy. Whoop. Back in the water he goes. That one, I'm just, again, just basically dragging it on the bottom, not really moving it a whole lot at all. In fact, I've been pretty much on my phone a lot of this time trying to get some stuff taken care of since I'm not at home. And, uh, and as I'm just kind of holding my rod, just letting it dead stick on the bottom, I feel a thunk and that's a fish. That's pretty much how today has gone so far. It's pretty, it's actually pretty fun. I'm not gonna lie. I'm actually having a lot of fun right now, uh, despite the lack of large fish. This is just totally different. This is totally different than anything I've ever done. It's awesome. This is a, there's a sidewalk. Do you see the sidewalk? No. There's a sidewalk that like starts over there. Maybe there's like a little park that like we can, I mean, there's a, there's, people can get down there. It's like a paved thing, but it doesn't look like it's been accessed in some time. Yeah, there's no way we're getting down. That's like a 15, 15, 17 foot drop. All right, right here? Yeah, you're good. Just jump. just jump right there. Do like a front, front facing jump. Oh, well, this should be fun. Yeah, you've got my poles and I've got my pole. <laughs> okay, okay, that's not too bad. And yeah. then from there, you should just be able to jump. Oh yeah, that's oh, not bad. Oh, damn it. Is that really mud? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Please fall, please fall, please fall. Oh, oh. oh yeah, that's mud. Nice, yeah. nice. Oh, okay. it could be worse. Cool. Step the pop we made it. Getting back up. Well, it'll be interesting. It's really shallow. Like, if there are fish in here, yeah. it's probably going to be maybe spooky. Oh, that's really shallow. 
Oh, there's fish. There's bluegills. I see them. Yep, there's gills. What was that? I mean, there's fish here. Yeah. They're just not the ones that Two pounders. Really? He's coming up this way. Hold on. Right, go catch him. You probably have a better chance of the Sanko. Oh, there's another little guy right there, too. Can you throw the Sanko in there? Yeah, throw the Sanko in there. Got him. Got him. I got a bass. I got the bass. Come on. Yes. <laughs> Dude. Oh my gosh. I cannot believe we just caught a fish right here. This is unreal. I literally looked, didn't even hook him inside the freaking mouth. Look at that. I had a Sanko on. That is un freaking real. I don't know how well you guys can see, but we're like down in these woods and this is less than a foot deep. Easily less than a foot deep. Crystal clear. John spotted a fish. Look at that. That is unreal. I casted it and actually was hanging up in a tree. And uh, yeah, there he is. I'm gonna let this little guy go. All right, no hate on this release. I literally cannot walk down any further. This, uh, this stuff, this is just given away. So I'm gonna try to give him a nice little gentle toss here. See you later, Greg. Oh yeah, Greg's good to go. This is like a hidden creek in the woods and it's like, I don't even know, a foot deep, maybe a foot deep. I don't even know if the water is over here. I'm just trying to find another spot. John B, he found a pretty juicy spot. He was seeing some fish, so. Oh yeah, oh here we go. God, dude, this is, I should've worn pants. I'm gonna see if there's any fish. It definitely looks much deeper. This should be, this should be guaranteed fish. Oh, I just had one, I just had one. There's a small one though. Got him, got him, got him. Bass, nope, about a one pounder. There we go, that is crazy. I just cannot believe that there's actually fish here. Look at that fish, this is a pale one. I don't know what deals. The other one had super, super prominent lateral lines. This guy, this guy as pale as it gets, just a little squeaker. Again, on the old Sanko, this is uh, this looks like where it kind of dams up. I don't know how well you guys can see it over there, but it's that's all like rock, basically a dam. Just a little bit deeper here, throwing the old Sanko, just catching catching little guys, but this is still still so much fun. See, buddy. Woo. Good to go. Yeah, this is much deeper. This is actually like a few feet deep. Oh no! Oh no! I gotta come watch this. John just hooked into a uh, giant old snapping turtle. Any thoughts on this? <laughs> Honestly, none. I none. Um, I got. We could use a stick. Let's see if I can. Uh, just, I just need to get the hook on a different direction. It's not, it can't be hooked that bad. So you just keep oh, I don't want it to break. I was going to try to like... Yeah. Oh, it just came out. We're good. How'd it come out? Oh my gosh. It did. He's good. You're good, dude. Oh, See you later, God. buddy. I felt bad. Oh, that was All right. A... Well, jeez. Louise. How did that just do? Oh, that was how the, how did he get out? <laughs> oh, that's really enough excitement for me. There you go. Oh, it's much easier getting back than it was going down. Hey, hey Rob. Okay, this should be good. You like that? All right, we are back home. As you guys can see, I am showered, cleaned off, ready for the old meeting. Uh, as you guys see, Rob, Rob got the kudu uh, all hung up and whatnot. I want to do the outro out here, though, just because I don't want to disturb them, what they're doing. I got to make this quick. Hope you guys enjoyed. This was totally different than the normal Fishing with Flair video. Uh, really big shout out to John. Uh, I will link his channel down below as if you guys haven't already subscribed to him. Uh, but I'll link it down below if you haven't for some crazy reason. He put me on some pretty juice. And actually, that second creek, he's never even been to. That was just something we found on Google Maps and uh, and walked down to it. And I got chiggers and, and poison ivy and all sorts of fun stuff that I'll get to enjoy over the next couple of days. But we caught fish, which is all that matters that was a lot of fun personally i thought it was a lot of fun i know i didn't catch any big ends the first one i caught was pretty good and then it just kind of went right on downhill but from there but hopefully this is somewhat relatable to you guys maybe you guys have some creeks around your house and uh and want to go catch fish what i was using today was a 6.6 light favorite absolute rod it was just a real real finesse rod 15 pound braid with like a 12 pound fluorocarbon leader uh favorite i think it was a phantom spinning reel and uh and yeah just a little weightless single like you guys saw i was using today and that was pretty much it 
cast it out there, you let it sink down to the bottom, boom, there's a fish. It is fairly, fairly easy to use and uh, it's very effective. It's kind of, I wouldn't say it's boring because usually you catch fish with it, but it's not a not the most action-packed bait on the market, but it's a good one. So anyways, I'm gonna shut up. Thank you guys so much for watching it. If you have not, make sure you hit that like button. Drop a comment down below. Peace.